Okay, I was saying how to uh, patch cracks in rival. You can see this crack here. Um, coming down here. You can tell it's a drywall crack. There's a piece of drywall right here. I don't know if you can see that crack. No, it's like that. That's why it's like that. Now it's same here. And same here. Now we'll put a tape on the crack. That's why it's cracked. Um, usually you don't need cracks in drywall, but every once in a while you do from settling or uh, something like that. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, hit these uh, cracks in the drywall. This is a simple repair. This is just someone uh, not doing their job. We're going to set all the cracks that don't have. They probably didn't know it because it was in a cover. They probably didn't think it was very important, but it is. All your cracks, whether you're doing your drywall or passing in like this, should have tape on them. Okay. I'm getting a little compound. Now, if you need more instruction on this process, go to my video how to uh, fix cracks in plaster. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, this is the first coat I'm putting on. Mainly with the first coat, I just want to cover the, the um, the tape. Small repair like this. I just grab the North Club pod out of the on the mugget. Oh we got a little bit of dry stuff in there. That's no good. If you do get some dry stuff, uh, just hit it real hard. Because on the uh, second and third, you can't have that. First coat is going to be new. Alright, our tank is covered up. So that's our, that's our first coat. We'll do two more. Two more coats. We'll have it done. There you go. First coat is done. Okay, we're gonna do the second coat here tonight. First thing we gotta do is scrape the ball, get our wool stuff off. Coat. We'll be staying with the same size knife and it's a small area. Normally on this coat we go up to the next size knife, but since it's such a small area, we're going to stick with this. So we're going to go ahead and put our second coat of carbine on. And um, as always, if you need more instruction on this, uh, go to my Honda Fix Cracks and Plaster Walls. Uh, it's the same process. It's just a little more detail than I'm showing you here now. Okay. It kind of goes through all the steps.
Now we'll put our second coat on. Each coat we put on goes a little farther out, extended out than the, the previous one. It takes a little practice to be able to put that cloth pot on your spoon. But the more you know, the better you'll get. And you'll never forget it once you learn it. The second coat, you almost want to see your tank disappear. You might see a little, a little bit of it through there, but that's what we want. So. Okay, there you go. There's coat number two. That came out pretty smooth there. I mean, since this is a closet, I mean, you can get away with white back on now. But I definitely want to show you how to put coat number three on, and then we'll uh, prep it for paint. So, uh, I'll see you when this is dry, and we'll move on from there. Um, what I'm using for the compound is the, uh, um, the general purpose compound. I don't use nothing special when I do walls. Uh, I use one kind of compound, uh, all purpose, and it goes on nice and smooth, and it's, it's an all regular compound. Um, I've tried most of them, but this is the one I come back to. So, I'll see you in a minute when it dries, and we'll put the third coat on. Okay, we're going to put our third coat on here. First thing you want to do is put every coat and get on the, uh, the wall and the uh, mess of joint compound that you have on here, you want to spray them off. Alright. Okay, I'm going to try next size up. Draw a knife. See how it works out. Uh, this is about the, the widest one I use for finish work. I'm new in uh, passing cracks. Um, so, but the bigger the area is, of course, the bigger the knife you can get away with. Okay. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put our third coat on. Everything looks nice and smooth. Now, when this is all done, and we wipe this down, you can tell you got a nice finish when you take your hand over and it's just, it's just perfectly smooth. That's when you know you got a good, good finish. And there really is no shortcut to having nice walls. You just gotta put three coats on, let them dry in between. Okay, it looks 
looks pretty good. And there you have it. That's our third coat. As you can tell, um, it looks pretty smooth. A little bit right here. But you can play with it all you want, but after I'm waving down, you'll be in good shape. Okay, we only got one more stuff to go, and then we'll be finished with this so we ready for paint. Okay, we're going to finish this wall for paint. We're going to use a sponge. Sand on one side, regular sponge on the other, and combine these at home knee power loads or any home center. If not, use a regular sponge. Um, I'd like to mention one more time if you need more detail on how to finish uh, repair cracks in drywall or plaster, uh, go to my How to Fix Cracks and Plaster videos. They're a little more detailed than this, so I'm going to show you how to wipe this down and get it ready for paint. I don't like the sand, you know, it dust everywhere. So we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up so we don't sprinkle water down the wall. And that will give you a smooth finish. When you're done and you feel this, it'll be just perfectly smooth and you'll have a good wall with that. Nice. Smooth wall that one. I like to use a sanding part on the edges. smooth. You have no dust in the other. That's a good way to finish your walls. I can do entire rooms like this with no sanding. Um, so, good luck.